Everybody hold up, we got hostiles in the area. Yo, we got a small cartel element by the helipad. Drone is airborne. I got another, that's five. Sniper up in the tower. Moving to position. I got a target, target carrying some target machine guns. That's one down. Marking a cap. Good eyes on the cartel supply chopper. Let's hijack it and divert its payload to the rebels instead. Just spotted one with submachine guns. Their lieutenant's running away. Keep it quiet, they know we're here. I'm opening fire on these shitheads. I found a receipt for the construction of a sound booth. That has to be for the Reaper's radio station. Let's check out the address. Signal's all bad. They're jamming the drone. I'm seeing two narcos here. Stay out of sight. We're closing in on the radio station. Let's see if Perico's on the job. place is empty. Maybe he ran. Maybe somebody we talked to tipped him off. But he's still broadcasting. Bowman, we're at the station. D-1 
DJ Perico isn't here, but there's still a broadcast coming through. He's using that station as a relay to boost his signal, and we can't hack in without the encryption key. Use the drone to scan his antennas. Sicken can take incoming data, and we can try to trace his location by triangulating the incoming signal's strength. Roger that. All I understood from that phone call with Bowman was scan the antenna. We just have to keep the drone still till the scanning's done. Getting some awful interference here. Not good. Might be a jammer in the area. You're gonna have to find and destroy that before you can scan Perico's antennas. We're on it. Down. You're giving yourself away. Taking a shot. la pinche morida de esos güeyes y no hay nada ahí. Vamos a seguir buscando el arco su pinche rastro. Man, they're gonna be pissed when they figure out they're looking in the wrong place. up. Alert's right. over. Let's get back to work. the sniper. Okay, we're still good. Scan complete. Just hope Sigan can trace Perico's location. Have this 
recovered a vehicle dispatch for a truck bringing valuable replicas to El Sueño's mausoleum. I know it's not your main task, but it's an opportunity to win your Sueño's pride. Check. If we get the chance, we'll take out the convoy before it reaches Sueño's personal shrine. El Sueño is sending a convoy loaded with personal items to decorate his private mausoleum. Yep, you heard that right. Intercept and destroy those trucks. I got eyes on a mounted weapon. Eyes on two Sicarios. Point him out. At the entrance to the camp. Hold up, they're gonna spot you. Puta, por aquí hay alguien. Hope the hornet's nest. Sniper's got us targeted. Drag out. Fucking hell. Engaging tangos. Drag out. The near to Culero. Guys ready? Fire. Frag out. Target destroyed. I guess Sueno can still have a mausoleum without all this stuff, right? Sure, but without the bling, it'll just be a bigger casket.
move, it's gonna blow. That LT is getting away. Opening fire. Fuck. Man. Nothing solid, but I found Perico's former bodyguard, Turo Ruiz. He now works for the cartel at Pilka, some kind of mine. Seems like there's some kind of bad blood between the two, so he might give up the DJ. We got a man down. Grenade, get to cover! Be okay, I'm on my way. Thank you. Grenade, move, move, move. Grenade, move. Clear on this side. <sighs> Took you long enough. There's a weapons case over here. I'll fly. DJ Perico's former bodyguard now works at Pilka Mine. Track him down and see what he can tell us about his old boss. Punch it, man! Shooting. I be your targets, people. We know Perico's ex bodyguard Ruiz is working at this mine. We need him alive for questioning. Deploying drone. Sniper, top of the tower. Got eyes on a tango. He's got a lot of background. Tango number three. Watch out. Place is rigged with an alarm. Sniper up in the tower. Got it. Moving. Eyes on the target. Target eliminated. Watch for civilians. We don't want to kill somebody. We got by civilians mistake. dangerously close. Check your targets before you shoot. Yo, we got a cartel LT, right by the container. 
Hang back, they see you. I got eyes on Perico's former bodyguard. Let's talk to him. You Arturo Ruiz? TJ Perico's former bodyguard? Perico? Man, fuck that guy. That pinche puto shot my dog. He shot your friend? No, man, he shot my dog, mi perro. Little Paloma never did nothing to no one. Perico killed your pet? What for? Hijo de su reputa madre, Perico was trying to smoke weed out of an AR-15. Fucking thing went off and left Paloma. I still have my person. Tranquilo. Ya. Prego. Let's get back to it. Hijo de su reputa madre, Perico was trying to smoke weed out of an AR-15. Fucking thing went off and got Paloma. Still have nightmares about that. Wake up with the shakes and shit. You want to get back at Perico? Give me his real name. A photo too. Man. Perico's real name is Marco Garcia. I don't have no photo, but I hope you kill that motherfucker. Helicopter, get down. Hit the dirt, helicopter. that and all we got was a name as common as Marco Garcia. Ah, uh, the activity will work there, man. Send them the name and maybe they can zap us back and fix you so we can ID the asshole. Hit the dirt, helicopter. We got more Sicarios incoming. Assholes are coming this way. What's the plan?
get down. What do you need? I'm tasking you with support for Operation Watchman. Support? I know this guy. Don't give him any shit, or he's liable to feed you your own liver. Patching him through now. Nomad, this is Matchwood. How do you read? Matchwood? I read you five by five. I'm in country without my usual team. A girl says you're pipe hitters who know the neighborhood. You tell us what you need, we'll make it happen. I'm gonna want somebody to watch my back. I'll drop you a line when I'm in position. Roger that. Look, this is not the time to be playing cowboy. Tread lightly, don't drop any bodies unless I give you the word. You copy. Understood. This is a stealth op. Yeah, match what out. Looks like we're riding shotgun with Sam Fisher. <laughs> Yo, cartel gunman. Close to that nasty looking dump. A buddy of mine, he went to Paladin 9 Security. Worked with Fisher on a K&R in South America. Said he was a real hard ass. And reliable as hell. But not a guy you invited for dinner with the family. He's had it rougher than most. Lost both his parents when he was a kid. And apparently, somebody faked his daughter's death. He's been shot, stabbed, tortured. And that bastard's still ticking. Like Rasputin or something. And that takes something powerful. To keep at it after all that shit happens to you. The Fisher has spent decades walking side by side with death. That's tough. Sometimes. And I think about the bad things we do for the good of our country. We travel overseas, take some lives, ruin others. Hold on. I found some stuff that mentions the cartel built DJ Fruito a house in a village called Toro Santos. Let's see if he's there. Pay a visit to Perico's home in Toro Santos. If he's there, grab him and bring him in. If not, search the place for useful intel. I'll be fine, man. I'm on my way. <sighs> Fuck, took you so long. <laughs> Hit the dirt, helicopter, Fox, get away from there! In here. Scour up any kind of intel you can. Helicopter, get down. Get the hell out of there. But to hijack the signal for Pakatari broadcast, we still need the encryption key. Right. We've got enough data to get you to the area of Perico's location. You need to pay him an unfriendly visit and get his encryption key. 
Bowman sending through background on DJ before we go. DJ Perico, the parrot. His dream in life was to be a mixtape DJ, which essentially means yelling over someone else's song and then charging people for it. DJ Perico! Fortunately for the music industry, life got in the way. Corner boy at age 13, crack charge at 14, attempted murder at 15. Rather than do a bid in a gladiator academy, he fled to Mexico. He had a cousin in Santa Blanca, got a job as a Sicario, a hitman. However, if Santa Blanca had run his sheet, they'd have seen he'd only attempted murder. Another way of saying he was a fuck-up. Like he missed two guys in the front seat of a Wrangler. I mean, how hard is that? It was only a matter of time before he annoyed the shit out of every single member of the cartel and got his corpse thrown back across the border. Except, El Sueño took a liking to him. Perico amused him. He can't shoot a gun, but he can shoot his mouth off. So... Good morning, Bolivia! That's when you found a role for him. Pirate radio. Propaganda. Spread the good word about the coming of Santa Blanca. It's a beautiful day for cocaine! But hey, what day is it? A special shout out to my boys in Fucada province, building El Sueño's final finca. But let's not be in too big a hurry, okay boys? DJ Perico is El Sueño's pet. Let's give him something new to parrot. We've got a location on Perico. Get that little fucker and make him give up his encryption key. We're gonna turn Buchon Radio into Radio Free Bolivia. We got company, stay sharp. Yo, Sicario with a submachine gun, right by the mortar. Fucker knows somebody's gunning for him now. These guys know something's up. Oh, my God. 
Look at this shit. I've seen a mausoleum or two in my time. This one could eat those for breakfast and not even notice when it shit them out. We're supposed to think Swainio's a god? He sure as hell does. Clear over here. They're coming right at us. What's the word, boss? There's the antenna. Perico's gotta be close. Remember, we need him alive, people. Hey, eyes on Perico. Cooperate to the South Rapien. Fuck with me. I'm famous. Ah, oh, fuck. And I lost the words, DJ. Hey, 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 look at me. Do I look like a sicario to you? You don't have to kill me, man. Oh, yeah? Why is that? I still got my whole life to live, man. I got dreams to fulfill and shit. Just give us the encryption key to the station's master control. All right, all right, man. Just you didn't get it from me, okay? When prompted for a username, type in B I D I B O M, Biddy Bomb. Then enter the numbers generated on this token. Savor this moment, Perico. This is the day you almost died. This is the day I spared you. Uh, oh, okay. See, I know you can just change the encryption key. But in exchange for not killing you, you are gonna keep broadcasting and you're gonna wait to change that password until my associate Pakatari makes his broadcast. You got it? It's getting quiet over there. They must think we left. I got a narco over here. That was fucking got close. Him. Over there, Bowman, near that crate of pump gear. Key, but I'm not sure we're up for hacking the signal. I know you're not techies. The rebels gave us the location of one of their comms guys. You have to break him out of a Santa Blanca jail, but we need his expertise. They can't spare a comms guy who isn't locked up. And neither can I. Extract him to an RP, and I'll get him the gear he needs to cut into that broadcast for Pakatari. Roger that. Enemy spotted. That was close. Pakatari's radio engineer is being I held prisoner at the Oliko Dam. We need to bust this guy out so he can help us hack Perico's broadcasting system. I'm good. Crank system. it.
Hit the dirt. Helicopter. Our mutual friend Pakatari sent us. Hey man, try to take us off some sweet jumps, all right? Akakatari is my señor comandante. But I did not think he would call upon Americans just to rescue little me. You have some technical expertise that's pertinent to our current mission. We're gonna hijack DJ Perico's radio signal. No mierda. My wife loves that guy's show. I keep telling her, hey, he's the enemy, caray. And she's like, but he's so funny. I can never win with her. Kumpa, thank you again. This broadcast could be a greater victory than any of us realize. Or it could change nothing. Carajo, don't worry. I will get it done and then we shall see. Adios, pues. Stay tuned to Santa Blanca Radio. If all goes to plan, you'll hear Pakatari's speech before you know it. Who are? Pakatari's broadcast all over the country. DJ Perico is already a fool, but now Sueño looks like one too. How do you measure the reactions we get anyway? When they're not busy taking selfies, my social media team monitors online trends. Hashtag DJ Perico is already getting the funniest gifts. Bowman out. Our rebel tech is getting cozy with Bowman. This is a lot of shit to go through just so Pac can give a speech on the radio. I suspect Bowman wants the rebels to feel like this is their op. Shit, they're the ones getting the credit for it anyway. Let's keep moving. Perico and the cartel are pretending that nothing happened, but that rebel broadcast did a lot to inspire the locals. The word from Pakatari is that people are lining up to join the fight against Santa Blanca. Let's hope it was the right play. I get nervous when any player in the game gets too strong. Afraid the socialists are gonna get too big for their britches? <laughs> He's such a Cold War antique. This is the CIA agent in Latin America. We're moving on. Be in touch soon. Sueño sent an accountant named Polpo to Barbechos to check out Nidia Flores' books. Word is Polpo is a hawk. He doesn't let anyone cut any corners. So whether she's skimming from Sueño or not, Nidia is not happy to have Polpo looking into her. The cartel smuggles its profits into Barbechos from Brazil, and the most of that gets laundered through Banco de Barbechos. With Polpo already about to gum up the works, there has to be some way we can use that to sabotage the entire process. Maybe Sueño already believes Nidia Flores has sticky fingers. To know for sure, we need to get hands on Polpo. Our intel places his junior partner and right-hand man, a guy named Wagner, at a silver mine in Barvechos. Grab Wagner and make him cough up Polpo's location. A friendly neighborhood CIA officer just sent us a video. Who's got the popcorn? All the Sicarios in the world ain't worth piss if you don't have the accountants to wash the money clean. Octavio Allende is the accountant that does Sueño's laundry. They call him El Pulpo, the octopus, because he's got his tentacles everywhere. You take him out, a lot of other pieces no longer connect, but I want to use him as a weapon. 
Fulpo is management, and he knows it. Instead of an AK-47, he has a briefcase, and he uses it to open doors to businesses, to cement relationships with politicians and police, and to make the cartel's money something they can spend. Thanks to El Pulpo, in addition to its illegal enterprises, Santa Blanca has its cash in numerous legit businesses. El Sueño has brought El Pulpo to Bolivia to audit Nidia Flores. Cash from Brazil comes into Barvechos, where much of it is laundered into the mining consortium. Nidia's profits must be looking a little light. El Pulpo's right-hand man, Wagner, is at the Sepulco silver mine. Get to Wagner and find out where his boss is hiding. Back it up, back it up! Sayo is part of Santa Blanca's coke smuggling operation. Bowman's got files for us on all the major players. Woman in charge is Nydia Flores, an ex-beauty queen turned drug trafficker. Her right-hand man is a dude named El Boquita. Ugly motherfucker. Seems to handle on-the-ground logistics. She's the brains, he's the brawn. Bowman didn't have any intel on what this guy Wagner looks like. As my soon-to-be ex likes to say, when in doubt, ask someone. Her Santissima Muerte so loved the Santa Blanca cartel that she gave us her only begotten daughter. That whoever believeth in her should not perish, but have everlasting life. Many years ago, we were in trouble, in La Desesperación, on the verge of extinction, being torn to pieces by the snakes and ratas. I believed that hope was lost, that it was too late for us, Era el fin. But just when I was ready to give up, it happened. Nidia Flores came forth, known to us as La Reina de Belleza, the Beauty Queen. And with her, she brought prosperity, wealth, and retribution. We feel her charity, su amor, deep in our hearts. As she continues to spread her gospel across the world, to every corner of the globe, praise to Saint Nidia, Queen of Queens, Reina de Reinas, Goddess among mongrels. I think you left the word motherfucker off the end of that sentence. When it comes to my ex, the motherfucker is implied. Silver mine over there. Santa Blanca took them all over in this area. Hire Bavetra's Plata to match the digging for them. As far as a miner's concerned, what's the difference between the two? One boss is as bad as another when you're trapped a mile underground. They say every man has a fatal flaw. El Baquita's is love. A smuggler from the age of six, El Baquita's father used to tape Acapulco gold on his son's body and then send him across the border. He called these trips vacaciones familiares, family vacations. By the time he was 13, Baquita was a trapeciador, a master smuggler. 
cigarettes, alcohol, name brand clothes, DVDs, oil, wildlife, weapons, and of course, people. One time, he even smuggled in half a kilo of yellow cake uranium. If someone wanted it, El Bukito could move it. But it was never really about the money. For him, it was the rush. Until he met the beauty queen. Nydia Flores saw his talent and made him her right-hand man. Nydia was the brains. Bukita was the brawn. The thing is, he was head over heels from the moment he first laid eyes on her. Nydia never felt the same way, but one drunken night she gave in. A little bit of sperm roulette, and nine months later, they had a daughter, Valeria. They say every man has a fatal flaw. El Bukita has two. Eyes on a sniper. Tell me where. Check the helipad. They're on alert. Sniper, get down. You're in trouble. Get down. Tell me where I can find Pulpo's boy Wagner or I start shooting off toes. You got some anger issues, way, But I'll tell you, Wagner was snatched off the street by Nidia's guys. Helicopter in, sniper, get the fight down. Any ideas, boss? Chopper, down, down. snatched by Nydia's crew? I sure as shit don't buy it. I'd say Nydia's got something to lose. And she thinks this Wagner guy can help her keep it. Damn, look at that. Barvecho's plot to mine. I guess Santa Blanca owns this too now. They've got their hands in every Bolivian industry. The billion dollar question is who's buying from them? Oil from drug cartels and terror groups, minerals, they all get into the market somehow. Heads up, hostile presence. They're gonna see you, hold up. Damn, that sure got his attention. Silencio, my thank chain. you, thank you. But who are you? For now, just know that we're the people keeping you alive. Let's move. up we got hostiles in the area looks like they're feeling froggy i 
have a shot. Engage. And who was it that attacked you? Men who work for Nidia Flores. It was nonsense. They suspect Pulpo of plotting against Nidia. Will you excuse us for a moment? Pulpo and Nidia have it in for each other, huh? We need to use it to our advantage. Make them both think they're stealing from each other. Exactly. Just need to find ways to do that. We'll get back out there. Get some intel we can use to break that relationship. Hey, who did you guys say you were again? Popo's cousin, on his mother's side. Two people who were... Wait. Got him. We're clear. Two people who work for the same man, Nidia and El Pulpo, don't seem to like each other much. They're naturally suspicious of each other and their intentions. We fuel those suspicions and we can get them starting their own little war. This out. Nidia buys her makeup online. Does that receipt have a delivery address on it? Why, yes, it does. Bet she ordered from a computer at that location. We hack that machine, we can make it look like she's skimming cash. Good idea. Let's hit it. We've got a location on Nidia Flores' personal computer. Hack the PC and get me the Beauty Queen's dirty little secrets. up got another tango tango marked but he's got a civilian nearby 
at a target carrying submachine guns. Here's target number five. I've got eyes on a captain. Roger, let me get in position. Roger that. Target marked. Target down. We poked the hornet's nest. Helicopter inbound. Chopper, down, down. I've had it, Poquita. I tell you, no mas. No mas. No mas. Tranquila, Reina. Did you just tell me tranquila? You did not just tell me tranquila. El Pulpo is a fucking book. Copter, get down. Chopper, down, down. Get down. Chopper, down, down. Here's her office. Let's take a look at that PC. Transferred about $50 million from Nidia's accounts to accounts that look like pulpos. It's artless, but it'll get the job done. Chopper. We're good. You all in one piece? I'll 
pilot. Enemy's heading for our last position. Sniper out there. some accounting records for a Santa Blanca cash vault in Barvechos. All we have to do is rob it and pin the blame on our good friend Pulpo. Sounds easy enough, right? Is it ever? Hack, this is Nomad. Calling from Barvechos. Como va todo? What can we do for you? We're planning to crack Nidia's vault. Gather a team and sit cool till we call you. You ready to bring enough hands to help haul all the cash? Está bien. I will alert the cap. Hold up. Engage him. Bad guy. We're clear. Flores hides millions in laundered cash inside the Banco de Barvechos. We're gonna rob the bank and hand the money over to Qatari and his rebel friends. Good to go. Second target. We're right at the cage. Nidia has been nothing but a thorn in your side and a gun to your head. Give us the access codes to revolt, and Pulpo will make sure she goes away. Pulpo? Chingao. Okay, está bien. The codes are yours. Está bien, me rindo. This is Nomad. We've got the access codes. Are the rebel forces ready? To make a withdrawal of hundreds of millions of Bolivianos. Of course. Wait for a signal. Nomad out. Flores hides millions in laundered cash inside the Banco de Barvechos. We're gonna rob the bank and hand the money over to Qatari and his rebel friends.
out I'm in here to Culeros. Fire from the parking area. Grenade, move. Grenade, move, move, move. inside the bank.
The rebels are here. They get to loot the vault, and we get to hit the road. Chopper, hit the dirt. That came from near the building. Take cover. Get down, chopper! I'll drive. Dead bird on patrol. Watch out. Hostiles in the area. Stay frosty. Shit. Sicario with a minigun. I don't see him. Next to the dump. Marking a captain. Spotting another tango. Got a shipping schedule for those convoys of cash coming from Banco de Barbechos. Should make it easy to cull one from the herd, then drop the loot off at Pulpo's garage. If Bowman leaks that truck's location to Nidia, we can sit back and watch things fall apart. Steal one of Santa Blanca's cash trucks and hide it in El Pulpo's garage. I got two when Nidia Flores finds the out, she'll blame Pulpo for the theft. Hold up, they're gonna spot you. I'm riding the motorcycle. Go on, I'll be right with you. Garage in the area. We'll drop the truck off there. What the hell kind of accountant has a garage? 
kind who invests in all sorts of businesses to help launder his boss's money. the garage. This shows where we can find a deactivated rebel radio transmitter. We should go put it back on the air. They're gonna make you back up. I'm opening fire. 